2022. Big things. Can't even tell you because that's how good it's gonna be. <laughs> back to my channel my name is Carissa if you are new to this channel um, welcome you've stumbled across an organizational video that is because we just moved into this apartment so if you want to see the whole like we just moved in journey then go ahead and tune into that playlist we just moved into this apartment in New York City Midtown West we're obsessed with it um, it's the perfect size however we had a bigger apartment before so we have more stuff than we know what to do with and today, I'm gonna like put in a bunch of montages of whatever I've been organizing the past few days. My last, my most recent update video, I think I was just like still going around and unpacking and we didn't really get a chance to organize. So there's like so much happening every day and it's so expensive to like do this part of your move. Like I know you guys know, cause you get all excited trying to like organize things. You start buying so much stuff. So I'm trying to slow down and like just take it, you know, day by day and try not to do too much at once. Um, we also wanted to feel like us and organic, so we don't want to like rush buying things just because we want to get something done. But today I'm going to do my closet. Currently, the state of my closet is out of control. Let me show you. So somehow I was able to fit all of my walk-in closet in our last apartment into this apartment. I have no idea how. Here's all of my shoes piled on top of each other, giving me anxiety. Um, just a mixture of clothing. I just kind of shoved it in here when we were unpacking and getting out of the boxes. I mean, it's a hot mess. Um, to try and just get it done because I just wanted the boxes gone. Like, I don't even have rooms to put these boxes anywhere, so they're just jammed in there. Here's the upper shelf. I have too many pants, so I have to go through those today. Um, these are like sweaters and jackets. That's the only thing I really was able to organize. So let me back up so I can really show you this. Okay. This is the full view of my closet. It's a hot mess. Now, I did buy some organizational things, so I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to do one thing at a time. It's overwhelming as a whole. But I have a Depop shop, so I need to take some stuff out for Depop. I need to reorganize things I actually want to keep. It's still winter, so I can't really put my coats away yet. And what we're doing is putting our coats underneath this bed for storage during the summer months. It's about to be summer. Um, I don't have my shoe storage thingy that's in, it's in our storage unit, oddly enough. So I need to get that so I can organize these better. They're like shelves that go across all the way. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to kind of record as I go. If I find anything super interesting, I'll stop and talk through it, but that's where we're at. So I picked this up in hopes that it would help me <laughs> organize some things I have to fold. I don't have much dresser space. I have like two drawers. So this is, it says sweater bag. This is from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. So I have this and then I have one in there already. It's like right there, I don't know if you can see it, for my bags. So we're gonna try to make these work. I'm not even sure if I have enough space. We're gonna find out. Here's the update. I have all my jackets here because they take up too much room. Took all the hangers out. They take up a lot of room. So I've done these two. They take up a lot of space though, so I'm a little worried about that. Put all the bags that would fit in this little thing here. And then I put t-shirts, some sweaters, and skirts down there. So all my t-shirts are there. And now this is like the rest of the long sleeve stuff and dresses I have. But I somehow need to fit coats 
long sleeves, dresses, all right here. I don't know how that's gonna happen. Here's the, uh, here's the next part. I think I should go through these next and just see uh, if there's anything else I can get rid of. I don't want to though. Arr, so I have to go through my shoes. If I can make some room down here, that would be, that would be great. And then what if I'm gonna have to do these jeans and pants. Maybe I'll do a first like run through. Here's all the like different bins. Put all my scarves and hats in there. The bags that didn't fit in here, I put in there. I don't know what's happening here. I think those are bathing suits. Um, yeah, and I didn't even remotely get to this corner yet. So we're making progress. A lot of stuff. I'm just gonna start taking them out one by one and deciding whether or not I can get rid of them or sell them. I wear these almost every single day. They're from Boohoo, so. Keeping. Love these. These are from Pretty Little Thing. Boots. Keeping. H&M. I wear these all the time. Chelsea boots. Um, okay, so I found these at a thrift store a while ago, and I love them. They're real Amelia Pucci vintage heels, but they're not wearable. Like, the heel is so thin, and they're more just like for the look. They're almost more of an art piece. So I was thinking about selling them on Depop because I just don't have anywhere to put them. And although they're like literally insanely gorgeous, what am I going to do with these? So I'm going to put these in my cell pile. Sad face. They were such a good find. I got them for so cheap. Um, same thing with these. I love them. They're Stuart Weitzman. They have a bow on the back. Vintage. Um, they're like my size in eight. They're a little bit small on me though, and they hurt. So oh, I think I'm gonna put this on Depop too. They're literally stunning. If you like these shoes, check out Depop for my vintage um, cells. They're really gorgeous. Okay. These are from Primark actually. I think they're like a designer knockoff. They're really cute, so I'm gonna keep them. I literally just got these in more than once from Zara. They're platforms. These are good classic keeping. Um, oh, I just got these when the summer was ending. These like strappy gold heels. Never wore them. They're super cute. They're BP from Nordstrom. So I'm going to keep these. Okay, another thrift store find. Michael Kors. They were $11.99 platforms. These are so cute. Definitely keeping. I wore these a lot last summer and they're insanely comfortable. Just get like overwhelmed because I have so many shoes and I want to upgrade them to like ones that will take up less space. Like these are really cute. They're from a thrift store. Boots. I wish I could upgrade these to like something designer. Maybe with a little bit more of a heel because look they're already like breaking. But I just moved. I don't have the money to do all that right now. So I'm trying to condense without getting rid of too much stuff so I have nothing left. I haven't gotten rid of... Oh, I got rid of two things. Okay, I put two things in the cell pile. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I'm willing to part with. I already threw out a bunch of stuff like a few... Like a week and a half ago when I was trying to put everything in the closet. I just had no choice. I got these heels from Zara. They're really cute. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is like this wraps up halfway, which kind of cuts off my leg, but they're also really sexy and high and they're like a nice classic. I'm going to keep them because they're newer. Oh my God. These from, um, where are these from? ASOS. Okay. I scuffed them. So I'm a little bit bummed, but they're metallic. They are literally gorgeous and they lace up. want to wear these definitely a few more times before I resell Okay, these are from the thrift store. They were $10. They're clogs, but they're like the perfect clog and they were $10. And I feel like I've only worn them once out. They're really comfortable. But I don't want to get rid of them because I'm like, I think I would wear them again. I think. I feel like they're very like cool Bella Hadid vibes. I'm going to try to keep them and wear them soon. And if I don't, then they're on my radar for possibly getting rid of. Okay, these boots I got from a collab I did with a brand. They're really nice. They're super high. They're cute. They have a tread. They're like super high quality. 
I just don't know if I'm ever gonna wear them. The original ones I wanted from the collab were black because I wear black a lot. I don't really wear brown. And they're rounded toe. They're not really my style fully. Um, they're really nice though and they're actually super comfortable. But yeah, I'm also really tall and these are like five inches. I think I'm gonna sell these. I love them, great quality. Honestly, they're such good quality. So if you like these, check out my Depop. Oh my God, I wore these the other day. I got these at a thrift store in the men's section. They're real Texas boots. They're leather, a little bit big on me, but they're so freaking cute. So I can't get rid of them. It's not my fault I have good taste, okay? I had the weirdest dream last night that I lost these sneakers and I couldn't find them in the move. And I woke up thinking like, did I lose these? These are from Not Geeks. They're custom Fendi Air Force Ones. Definitely keeping these. I'm obsessed. I'm sorry, they're Jordan Ones. Oh. So I've had these Air Force Ones for a long time and I stopped wearing them. I don't know what it is. It's almost like they're the same skin tone as me, so I just don't like the way they look. So I think I'm actually gonna try to sell these. I'm not the closet. Not Geeks, another pair of custom. These ones are Air Forces, the other ones were Jordans. Um, custom Air um, Air Force Gucci's. So I'm gonna keep them too. I think that they need to be cleaned, so I need to get a little cleaning kit because I don't wanna ruin them. So many shoes. These are shoots boots. Snake skin. Definitely not getting rid of these. I love these. Shoots has the best boots, so highly recommend if you're in the market for new boots. I like to keep the boxes so they don't get ruined. And I only do that on shoes that I really love because I don't have the space to keep all the boxes. It's also hard to see your shoes when you keep them all in boxes. Okay, now. Do you guys know what this is? A shoehorn, you like put it on your ankle, like this, when you're putting your shoe on so you don't ruin the back of your shoe. Literally life-changing. Oh God, I got it for a dollar. Protect your shoes, get a shoehorn. A good classic gym shoe too, and a casual shoe, I'm gonna keep those. Air Forces, same thing, they're a classic. Can't really go wrong with Air Forces. I don't wear them that often anymore. I used to wear them almost every single day. Um, but now that they got really popular, I don't know, I just like don't like wearing them as much. I don't know why, I just see them too often, they don't inspire me. But, I'm gonna keep them because they go with everything and, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. These I really like. These are the Zoom 2K Nikes. How cute are these? And they're not expensive. And these are a classic, Stan Smith, Adidas. With the green, I wear these a lot too. These are a good New York City like walking shoe. I went through the mall and it's really not much better. I definitely need to get my big shoe rack to put in here to cover more shoes and to hold them all, but you know, I would like to get this area clear from shoes. I just don't know how it's gonna be possible. We're gonna try. Maybe I should put have should have put the shoes where the bags are. I just with them I wouldn't have anywhere to put my bags. Comment down below if you guys are having ideas for me because they would be greatly appreciated at the moment. I am struggling. Okay. I've taken all my pants down. I'm putting them in piles. I realize I've already gone through these pants. So like they're all the ones I want to keep, which is crazy. I didn't realize I had so many that I liked. Um, and then I've cleared this out mostly so I can start rearranging. So this is all the bags that didn't fit in the other thing. This is my like overnight bag. I had this genius idea. So I got these little flimsy containers. I think they're from Ikea or like Target. I flipped it on its side and I put my sweatpants in it this way to create a little bit of a shelf and I can see my sweatpants and they're not going to fall all over. So do you see what I'm saying? Like that's kind of cool. I'm into that. Um, I have another one of those right there and has shorts in it. So maybe I'll do that with my shorts. I'm still trying to figure out like what I'm going to do. I just feel like it's so hard to see my pants. So like, how am I going to get to them? How am I going to wear them? Still trying to figure this out. We'll update shortly. Okay, update on the closet. It looks a lot better. I definitely still have to get the shoe thing so we can get these under control. 
but I actually have space. I don't know how that happened. And the upper part is just all folded now, so it's neat. This is the only box that doesn't fit anywhere. It's um, bathing suits. I'm hoping once I get rid of some of this other stuff, I can put it up here somewhere. So for now, this is good for the closet. I still have to do laundry. Um, let me back up so I can show you guys. So everything fits. It looks a lot neater. Um, these I'm getting rid of. So yeah. I can't believe that's all the clothes I own. This is the least amount of clothing I've ever owned, but I'm kind of into it because it was really overwhelming having too much stuff before. So I think I'm just going to keep replacing things with better quality and not buy so much fast fashion. He like came up to the both of us, but I guess he's kind of cute. I don't know. He's a lawyer. this glass cleaner because Arvin Alano recommended it so we're gonna try it on the big ass mirror. The glass cleaner worked really well. Um, it definitely smells. It has a really, really intense smell. I'm not gonna lie to you. But, and that mirror's freaking huge! Five feet across, almost um, seven feet tall. So, yeah, I think it is seven feet tall. It's huge. And so, it really takes some shoulder strength to clean that damn mirror. I also cleaned my kitchen table and like a few other things in the house. And now I'm about to. Let me think. I cleaned up around the house out there. And I'm just realizing like the kind of storage situations I need still and oh let me show you what I ordered from Ikea. So I ordered this thing from Ikea because I wanted to possibly get like a cabinet for this space but I wanted to test out sizing first so I ordered this plastic situa situation and I put it here and I feel like it's actually kind of perfect. I don't know how long we'll keep the plastic but like it's right next to the shower so if it gets wet it's not going to get ruined. Um, I don't think it's bad. It's from Ikea. It was really cheap and we can put some stuff in there now because we literally have no storage here. Like, no one wants to put their stuff in there. It's gross. So I think when you come in, like, this looks nice and clean. And then we have some stuff over here, like some towels and Mark stuff, my stuff, toilet paper. So that was a little solution we came up with there. Oh, I also wanted to... So they actually gave us a medicine cabinet, which is amazing like I literally have so much medicine in there which I've never used a medicine cabinet for just medicines so that's weird I think I want to buy another one and put it here I know that's a little weird but we have no other storage and I think that will help free up some of this stuff in this closet because this closet is coming along like this used to be jam-packed with everything that we didn't know where it went now it's really like it's it's coming down it's it's happening so okay that's there um, let me shut the lights out. So, the next project is going to be here. Now, this is from my old place. I don't think I'm keeping it. I've had it for a long time. Mark said I should get something that comes up this high 
and like out a little bit and I have drawers to like put everything in there in. Um, this is just like a plethora of things. Hair stuff, hair stuff, electronics, nail stuff, sunglasses. Um, this is my current skincare that I'm putting in here. I don't know how this ended up in here, but... Um, oh, like electronics, batteries. It's really random. These are like paperwork that I need to get to. IRS. And jewelry. So it's like I can definitely get something else to store this stuff in since clearly it's not very organized. So I'm going to look on Ikea right now and if I find anything good, I will update you guys. I picked a unit for the area on Ikea and ordered it, ordered it. Why can I speak today? Let me pull it up for you so you can look at it. I picked a three drawer unit. It was only like $130, it's pretty cheap. And I was gonna get the classic mom drawer set because that apparently is perfect sizing for that area as well. But I ended up finding something called the Song, song Stand, Song Sand. Three drawer chest. Drawer trip. I can't talk. Here it is. So I'm gonna get this unit and put it right here. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with this big behemoth. Um, I think I need to go through this again. Because with this, I got drawer organizers. So I can like, I don't know, maybe I'll do the top. will be like office stuff. Hair, skin, nails, hair. Like I don't really know what, but... Um, I would like to have this be for clothes, but I have nowhere else to put my beauty stuff. Like, I have no drawers. So maybe I'll get something for here then? Like, would that make sense? I guess that could be something. I could get like a high cabinet right there. Huh. I'm just having this realization. I probably should have did that before I ordered this. Alright, let me go look. <laughs> okay, I found a cabinet that will work. It's called the... Let me just try to get out of this so I can show you. It's called the Ennit High Cabinet. So, like, I don't know if it's gonna work though. So this is my thoughts and I'm waiting on my dad to text me back. It's a really, like, long high cabinet with one single door. I feel like I could put all my, like, um, skincare and stuff in there and it would fit perfectly right here. I don't know if I can mount to that though. So then I was like, oh, I'll just get the legs so then it can stand there by itself, but the legs aren't available for delivery, just the unit. So I'm not sure, but I feel like if I get that, I can take all the stuff out of what's over here and put it in there, and then I can just use this dresser for more clothes. So does that make sense? So like this would be hair, makeup, skin, and then this would just be clothes and like a lamp on top and whatever. So I feel good about that. Um, I'm not gonna order this yet until I find out more details, but I'll keep you guys updated. I was just texting my dad and he said I can put the cabinet there but I'm gonna have to hit a stud which I don't know how to do I don't have a stud finder you know I'm not gonna be the one mounting it anyway so what I think I'm gonna do is not right this minute just because I just spent $200 on the other cabinet is eventually I will get the I will get that high cabinet with the legs and I will get somebody that knows how to do it mount it to the stud so that I can have my own like little beauty cabinet there get all my stuff out of that closet in the hallway and put it right here. And I can have like all my beauty stuff in one spot. Like I think that should work. What's that? The only thing I don't know where I'm gonna put is my curling iron and like, there's no easy way to store curling irons, is there? And like, New York is so loud. And like straightening irons and blow dryers, um, that's annoying. One thing at a time, I think I'm probably going to get rid of this large and in charge Ikea cabinet right here. It's really, really, I wish it wasn't as deep so that I could put, put it somewhere else. Like, it's just too, the depth is too big. And I have nowhere else so that it can go where it's not going to stick out like a sore thumb. Um, I highly recommend though if you have a huge space, like a pretty big space, and you need to store like a lot of beauty products, it's great for that. Um, so now I'm getting really tired. I was supposed to go to the gym today and I just didn't. I've been doing house stuff all day. I think I'm just gonna chill. Like honestly, I think I'm gonna put on a show. <laughs> I just can't be bothered right now to go to the gym. 
and I don't believe in forcing it, and so I'll just go tomorrow. You know? <laughs> so I'm gonna tell myself. Hello, it is the next day. I went to sleep, went and did some work stuff, work meetings and castings, and I'm back home with some updates with the home stuff. I also went to the Brooklyn in sale. There's a sample sale around here. It's called 260 if you ever come to New York. Check out their Instagram for what brands are in there. And today it was Brooklyn in, so I got um, a white cashmere, cashmere blend sheet set. Why is that hard to say? I got towels and I got some candles. So I'll show you all that when I set it up right now. It's like in bags. Um, and then also I had ordered a bunch of stuff online from Amazon for this drawer right here. If you remember, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. These are all from Amazon. So we got the wax paper and the um, tin foil. This little thing is so cute. Mark just set it up. You pull it out and then you go across and then it like does it perfectly clean. Um, and then we got these for all of our little plastic bags because, you know, it becomes a hot mess in here and it's ugly with <laughs> the other boxes. So they did that for Mark because I know he's very particular. So I feel like that's just very satisfying to look at. So we did that. What else? Oh, another big update. I wasn't here for this one because I was, um, I just got back home. But look what Mark did while I was gone. He ordered this desk from Target. I think it's a hearth and hand desk with a really big drawer. And then we put the marble from our coffee table on top because I think we're getting a different marble. Mar hmm. We're getting a different coffee table. So it's kind of like the perfect top for this desk. Elevates it, makes it look more expensive because I think it was only like $200 if I'm not mistaken. Definitely gives it a more high-end look and kind of like we didn't want to get rid of the coffee table, but we didn't like it for this room. So I'm glad we could repurpose the marble top. It looks so cute. Um, a little bit of a mess in here, so I have to clean up. Updates left and right, people. Let me show you some of the Brooklyn and stuff I got. So I was able to score four of these hand towels. They're the waffle knit. They feel amazing. You've never heard of Brooklyn in super expensive linen brand so i only bought it because it was at a sample sale and really good prices like i think i got these for nine dollars like a two pack for nine dollars which is amazing and then i got these towels so these are the lightweight towels it's one of their lightest weight versions of their knits and they feel incredible they're also known to like dry really fast so if you shower a lot or you know, but if you don't want to have room to put your towels, like your wet towels to let them dry, these are great. So we have a small apartment. I thought these would be great. So I got each two pack was $30, which I think is a really good price. I also grabbed these candles from Brooklinen. So it's like the AM to PM collection. One's on Mark's desk. And they just have all these cute little names, like Magic Hour smells incredible, like very sweet. We have Dusk. I guess Dusk would be before Magic Hour. Um, and then the nightcap one smells so good. I literally, I don't know how to describe fragrances. Let me see if it has one on here. It doesn't even have a description. I don't know how to describe, but they all smell clean and amazing. So I think that that's all of the updates thus far. Oh, let me show you the sheets. Um, nothing like special. They're just white sheets. But if you guys could feel these, literally feel like heaven. So I'm excited to put those on. And then someone sent us this in the mail and I don't know who. This really beautiful blanket so I can get rid of my, so this is like my blankie. This is like, I love this blanket. Lori Goldstein gave me this a long time ago and I don't want to get rid of it. It's just, it doesn't match our room. It's very dark. So I might replace that with this one, but I don't know who sent it to us. And whoever sent us this also sent us a toy for Leo that he loves and he loves getting toys. So if it was you, please let me know. I have no idea who sent it and I love it so much. It was a very uh, sweet and thoughtful thing to do. So thank you. Right now I'm going to go around and clean up. Maybe like switch my sheets on my bed. Adult things are so exciting. Oh my God, I finally just did my bed, my sheets from Brooklyn in. They are incredible. So I watched a Delaney Child's vlog recently with, I didn't realize like a top sheet is supposed to stay tucked under and you're supposed to like sleep under it and it's not supposed to be pulled out. 
It really changed my life. So you tuck it under the mattress and you fold the corners in and you're supposed to stay under it like a little sleeping bag. So I did that with these sheets. He's already on the bed. This is Mark's weighted blanket that he uses, but I keep it on his side because it's so heavy, it's 20 pounds. Here are the sheets. They are literally so smooth. Do you like them? Do you smell new sheets? Do you smell new sheets? I need to get a new comforter now, I think, because this Casa Luna comforter is always wrinkly. I don't get it. It just doesn't have the, it doesn't have the vibe I was hoping for, but I don't wanna buy a Brooklyn and comforter just yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill with my Castellina comforter for now. Um, I'm gonna wrap up this organization vlog now. I think I shared enough updates in this one. I'm gonna start a new one when I get my dressers coming, so that's gonna be another one. What else is coming? We ordered a coffee table. We ordered a glass coffee table. We still need so many things. There's so many things to go through. So I will start a new vlog and you guys should just follow along and follow the journey. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.